This is question 19 of civil engineering paper gate 2015 forenoon session. The two columns below show some parameters and their possible values. Parameter gross command area, permanent wilting point, duty of canal water, delta of wheat. Values 100 hectares per cubic, 6 degrees Celsius, 1000 hectares, 1000 centimeter, 40 centimeter, 0.12. Which of the following options match, uh, matches the parameters and the values? Correctly. So, in this question, two columns are given. In one column, the parameters are given, and in second column, uh, the values are given. We need to do the correct match uh, between column 1 and column 2. So, this question is from the topic of um, uh, soil water relationship. You may study about all this parameter in detail by watching lecture 1 Introduction, Irrigation and Drainage by Professor Damodara Rao Melapalli at Khadakpur. So, just let us recall all this parameter. So, the gross command area is the total area which can be irrigated by a canal system and this area includes road, village, farmstead, etc. Uh, uh, which can be irrigated by a canal system and since this is area, so we know the unit of area is a meter square, kilometer square. Uh, and generally, we define this gross command area in hectares. He hectares. Now, the another parameter is permanent wilting point. Now, what uh, this uh, plants uh, takes uh, water from the soil through its root for its survival or for uh, uh, doing the uh, photosynthesis. But uh, sometimes th uh, there are uh, very less amount of water present in the soil such that the plant uh, is no longer to extract the water for its growth. So, that water contained at which plants can no longer extract sufficient water from the soil for its growth is known as permanent wilting point. So, permanent wilting point is defined in terms of water content and we know the water content is defined in percentage percentage or we can say in fraction. Now, the another uh, parameter is duty. So, the duty is the, the total uh, area uh, which can be irrigated uh, through one cumic of water is called duty and it is defined as the ratio between the irrigated crop area and the quantity of irrigation water required during the base period. So, the unit of duty we can write hectares hectares per cumic. It means from one cumic how much area uh, uh, can be irrigated that is called duty. The another parameter is delta. So, the delta is the total amount of water which is required uh, for a crop during the cropping period and this amount of water generally defined in terms of depth. So, uh, generally we define it in, in centimeter. Now, coming to the question. The first parameter is gross command area and we know the gross command area is uh, denoted in terms of area or hectares we can say. So, in column 2 it is given in 300 hect uh, 1000 hectares. So, we can say the correct match for P is 3. The another parameter is permanent wilting point. So, permanent wilting point is defined is uh, permanent wilting point is the point at which plants uh, can no longer extract the water. Uh, for its growth. Uh, so, and it is defined in percentage. So, here uh, if we see uh, in the table 2, so it is given in 60.12 that is 12 percent. So, we can say the correct match for Q is 6. Uh, next, duty of canal water. So, duty we know uh, duty is defined in hectares per cubic that is uh, uh, the amount of uh, area that can be irrigated from uh, or through 1 cubic of water. So, that is given in hectares per cubic. So, for R the correct match will be 1. Now, delta of wheat. So, delta is the amount of water that is uh, required for the crop uh, for its uh, growth uh, during the cropping period. So, delta is defined in terms of depth generally. So, now depth is given in 4 and 5. So, from observing to this 
two uh, uh, values we can say the delta of weight is 40 centimeter it is not uh, 1000 centimeter means uh, 10 meter it is very high amount of water and that is not required for the wheat crop so the delta of wheat can be written as 5 here now if we check the options so the correct match is for p3 so p3 is given in option b and d only so option a and c will be incorrect now for q the correct option is 6 uh, and in d it is 2 so it is also incorrect this is incorrect uh, for r the correct uh, match is 1 so r1 is given in option b for s the correct match is 6 which is also given in option b so we can say the correct match is given in option b so the option uh, b is the correct answer for this question thank you